everybody, hope you're having a great day today. I have a review for you on the Taimane Signature Ukulele in collaboration with Enu Music. So congratulations to Taimane. Taimane is a performer, composer, and ukulele virtuoso. I posted a picture of this box before I opened it on my Instagram and Taimane actually reached out to me and she said, hey, I hope you really like the ukulele and please be honest about your opinion about the ukulele. So that was just really awesome that she reached out and that she you know, wanted to know my honest opinion. And as you know, even though I'm an Enya endorsed artist and technically this video is sponsored by Enya, but you know that I try to give as much information as I possibly can uh, to you, the consumer, because you're ultimately the ones that are purchasing this instrument and just want to make sure that you are purchasing something that you believe that is right for you. So we're going to go over into the specs, sound samples, we'll go into some thoughts and some things to consider to see if this is the instrument that is right for you. Let's get started. This tenor side signature ukulele was created by Enya and Taimane, and also features artwork by Samuel Mangakahia. When they developed this, they wanted this to be approachable for the beginner and also for intermediate and advanced players. It's made of solid mahogany with a thin body, it has a radius rich light fretboard, and also has bird inlays that are flying toward the north star toward the headstock. On the very back, you'll also find Taimane's signature. Something interesting about mahogany that I've talked about in a lot of my other videos, if you've seen them before, is that it is a tone wood that ages very well. So the tone gets deeper and also the color gets deeper over time. Now, I don't think this is going to get darker over time <laughs> because of the blue finish, you know, this moody blue, uh, moody navy blue, but I definitely think that it will get deeper and richer in tone over time. So that's the advantage of having something of solid mahogany. It has a satin finish, strap buttons. The sound hole has a crescent moon made of white abalone decoration. It features J87T tenor strings from Daddario and has a drill through bridge. This is not your typical drill through bridge. This is different. There's a little notch right here, a little slot where you can unstring the ukulele, take your new strings, tie a knot, put it in the larger hole, and then when you lock it in place and pull it tight, it's not going to slip. So that's really great because a lot of people find tying strings on a tie block bridge to be a little cumbersome, a little time consuming or intimidating, and then they just don't change their strings. <laughs> It features an Enya Acoustic Plus pickup system that has reverb, delay, and chorus. It also includes accessories such as a case, an ukulele strap, quarter inch instrument cable, and a USB for charging. Without the Acoustic Plus, it's priced at $399, black or blue. Priced with the Acoustic Plus, it's $499, black or blue. And available in just the black is a five string, which is $599, with the Acoustic Plus included. It's available on Amazon as well as Enya's website. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> that is really cool. That strap that comes with it matches the case right here. That's beautiful. I was really excited to find out that the artwork was done by Sam. He is a Polynesian artist and he just had, creates really beautiful works. So I think it's absolutely beautiful. Did a beautiful job. So if you look at this very closely, do you see that? There's a portion right here. That is one solid piece of mahogany. These are separate sides. They're not book matched, but they look really pretty like they're herringbone. And then this carries over to here. That's a solid piece. You can kind of see a hidden scarf joint there but it's really, really hard to find. When I asked questions about the headstock, my contact at Enya told me that the headstock is a separate piece from the neck. 
Hello, editing Katie here. I know a bunch of people are gonna ask me, what's the action of the instrument? I will say that it's very comfortable to play. I feel like I don't have to work for it. And also action can be a very personal preference. It's always great practice to get a setup. Will I go get mine set up? Right now, I don't think it needs one. How ethereal is that? With the Acoustic Plus, it's like you're playing in a hallway, a really echoey hallway or a, an echoey church. You know how like when you sing in the shower, everything's just better <laughs> with those hard surfaces for the sound to bounce off of? It just, it's magical. And I feel like when you have an Acoustic Plus pickup like this, it's like carrying that magic here. And it just makes everything so ethereal and open. I was really surprised um, how bright this ukulele sounds. So this one, all right, still has that woody tone, that quintessential ukulele sound that mahogany does, is able to produce. It has that punch to it. It can really cut through a mix without it being too bright. Uh, just a really, really nice shimmer to it. It sounds very clean. That's the word that I want. It's very, very clean. And you know, different strings, different materials. It's a little deeper, but um, yeah, it'd be really interesting to play all of my Enyas side by side, including this one, and then just have you analyze that. Let me know if that's a video that you would like to see where I just play all of my Enya ukulele side by side, and then you analyze the tone. I think that would be a fun video to do. So when I was playing around with the delay, you just kind of have to get used to where you are <laughs> on the dial, and then um, if it's going to match or just basically add to what you're doing. Sometimes there, you may be playing something, you're like, ooh, there's, there's too many pulses. But then you have to play with the delay. You can't tap it in. And if you've heard my other reviews, I've talked about the fact that the Acoustic uh, Plus, with especially when it comes to the delay, you can't tap in your delay. My delay pedal is the Strymon Timeline. I use that at church, and we play with in-ear monitors to a metronome because there's just so many moving parts going on in so many services. So when I hear that click, one, two, three, 
for I tap in the tempo when I'm using my delay so that the delay lines up with the song and so it just doesn't become muddy and I'm not stepping on somebody else's toes. Now, will that matter for the majority of the people that will purchase this instrument? No. No, I do like the fact that it is a satin finish. It's really good for filming because then you don't get a weird reflection. There is a con to that, that it doesn't have a glossy finish because I believe that glossy finishes really bring out the wood grain of the mahogany. It, you have to really look at the bat and it's really beautiful. And I just wish you could see it more. But without the glossy finish, I think it's great. I actually prefer the neck to be a satin finished neck because moving from the lower part of the neck to the upper part of the neck and my hands don't stick. Now something you do have to consider is monitoring the moisture of this instrument. So I live in Wisconsin and it can get really dry and cold in the winter times. So I really have to monitor the moisture of all of my instruments. In fact, especially the ones that are made of solid tone wood, because I don't want something splitting and cracking because things can dry out. Something that you might see as a pro is that the design is unique in a sea of content creators that are making ukulele covers. But then you see this, there's lots of different places for your eye to fall but it's not so much where it's like overly decorated, where there's just excessive ornamentation. Another thing you do have to consider is the price. So you do have the Acoustic Plus with this instrument. So it's $4.99, you do get a few accessories, but $4.99 may be steep for you. You do have to consider whether or not this is in your budget. Some people feel that $4.99, this would be a steel with a solid mahogany. Then you get the artwork, you have uh, Taimane's signature, that may be worth it for you and the acoustic plus. <laughs> Something I will have to do is uh, tell my three children that this ukulele is off limits, that this is just mommy's. <laughs> just hearing the sound samples, what do you think about the tone? What do you think about the overall design? Also, let me know if you want that video of comparing all of my Enya ukulele. <laughs> I think that might be a fun, it might be a fun video. It'd be a fun video to make. I don't know if it'd be a fun video to edit. So sorry, editing Katie, if that's something <laughs> in advance, if that's something that the people vote on. Okay, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And remember, you are loved. See you soon. Bye.